I'm Justine Wilson, Director of Vault Interiors, and I'm wishing you a very Vault Christmas. Today we're going to be doing a Christmas home tour. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Now I have some pretty big balls for decorating for Christmas early. I may be a little bit nuts. I may be a little bit crackers. My friends, it's all of the above. But let me tell you, 2020 has been a year. We need extra cheer, extra magic. So please follow me on this home tour as I share my tips and tricks and we talk about styling for Christmas. So stop one on this tour is Christmas tree one. Now I do have two trees in this home. We'll get to both of them, but I wanna talk about the big one. See, this is a very vintage, retro, nostalgic tree. Think Stranger Things, think a child of the 80s or 90s. If you grew up in that era, you know what I'm talking about. This tree is all things nostalgic. It's evergreen, it's a lovely balsam hill tree. It's a tall, big tree, and I've actually lightly flocked it myself. The reason I've done this is I wanted it to relate to the other tree because I have two kind of schemes or themes going on in this Christmas house. It's nice to have elements that relate to the other tree. Now the thing about this tree that's really magical is that it's like a candy lane tree. I'm talking gingerbread houses, I'm talking gingerbread donuts, candy canes. It's delicious, it's delectable, it's all about the Christmas cheer. Now, the reason I really wanted to do this tree is my brother and sister-in-law just welcomed a new baby. So I have a little baby nephew who's gonna experience his first Christmas. Can you imagine anything more magical than having a true vintage Christmas tree? That was really the inspiration behind this tree. Now to get the look, I've included a lot of different ornaments. So we've got overscale baubles, lots of hanging beads, we have snowflakes, we have little nutcrackers. It's all meant to be whimsical and magical. The other thing that's really nice about this tree is there are lots of glittery moments. We've got Merry Christmas signs, we've got the snowflakes, and none of these are very expensive ornaments. You can definitely achieve a look like this on the cheap. I'm talking Target, Kmart, there are a few David Jones accessories in there because it wouldn't be Christmas without a trip to David Jones, but it's all about gathering elements. That creates a really magical, childlike, whimsical tree. Now to finish off this tree, I have covered it in Lametta tinsel. Now, if, again, if you're from the 80s or 90s, you know what I'm talking about. This stuff goes everywhere. My dogs have been running around with it for three days, but is it worth it? Yes, absolutely. Look how magical it is on the tree. It also draws your eye to the base of the tree where I have gone a little bit over the top. I don't have any presents at the moment and if any of my friends are watching, feel free to send me some presents. In the interim, I really wanted to create a little magical story at the base of the tree. Otherwise it's dead space and you get a bit disappointed to be honest when you look at an empty tree. I have a Target Santa, I have a vintage tree, I have a miniature sleigh, which is for my annual dog photo, a really a must. I also have a little um, Kmart Letters to Santa box. All of these elements tell a story and what it does is it creates a little magic moment at the bottom of the tree. So because I've done the nostalgic tree, it's really important to tie that decoration style into another element of the home. It's the same with general interior design. You want to repeat an accent. So because I have that nostalgic multicolored vintage look tree, I wanted to create a tablescape that had the same feel. Now this tablescape is actually pretty inexpensive. It's got lots of little clay dough houses just from Kmart. I think they're $8 a piece, a couple bigger ones from America. But when they're grouped together, they create this beautiful miniature village and everyone loves a little village at Christmas. Now to give it some context and make it feel like a true scene, I've added lots of colorful bottle brush trees at different heights. Again, that creates lots of visual layers, lots of magic. I've got some beautiful candlesticks that have that white snowy pop. Now I wouldn't advise you actually light them so close to the trees and glitter. It's a little bit of a fire hazard. However, the fairy lights and the twinkle lights do the same thing, or you could opt for flicker LED lights either way. Now the colored lights are the same as the tree. We've got that vintage primary colored light it's really tying the two elements together the other thing I've done with this scene is acrylic deer we've got polar bears 
We've got crystals, selenite and calcite that create a snowy feel. And it's just this beautiful winter wonderland scene. Now, as you can see, guests would be totally taken away by this magical moment. And it's just a bit of fun for your Christmas spread. One of my tips for styling your home for Christmas is take the elements throughout the whole home. Having little pockets of Christmas magic is a wonderful way to make your home truly special. So, much lately, so because I, I have two interior design or Christmas schemes in this home, I needed some kind of element to tie them all together. And this home didn't come with the fireplace, but I also needed something to hang my dog's Christmas stockings. It's essential, it's mandatory, and where else would I put them if I didn't get a faux fireplace? What this area does is it creates a magical focal moment. It allows me to have my dog's Christmas stockings and it allows me to tie my two festive schemes together. So I've got the bottle brush trees from the tablescape and it matches the nostalgic tree because it's very colorful. But I also have gold and white elements which match the tree we're about to see, which is a very neutral winter wonderland tree. Because I've got little elements of both, it really ties everything together and creates a lovely little vignette in my home. So this is tree two. And why do I have two trees? Well, why the hell not? It's 2020 and I couldn't decide, so I did two. Now this is my usual tree. It's a beautiful flock tree from our Fresco Emporium. And as you can see, it's got that winter wonderland snowy feel. So to pair with this tree, really metallic, neutral, very pretty muted tones is what I went for, but it's not visually boring. And the reason being is that there are lots of textures and tones within this tree that give it interest. You'll see I have white baubles that look a bit vintage. I have glitter baubles, I have mercury glass, I have bronze, gold, rose gold, metallics, champagne, silver, all those different textures and colors create a beautiful tree story. The other thing about this tree is I still want it to relate to tree one in some kind of way. So I have lots of miniature scenes. So we have little houses in globes. We have little deer, little villages. It's tying to the other elements in the home. And who doesn't love a miniature house in a dome? I mean, everyone needs one. The other thing about this tree that's quite beautiful is that I have picks. Now tree picks are basically long branches you shove into the tree. And what it does is it gives the tree dimension, it extends the shape of the tree, and it gives you more of that department store elegant feel. It also helps your eye travel down the tree. So I've got some berries, we've got some glittery leaves, and I've also got a beautiful ribbon, which I've weaved in and out of the tree. Again, that acts like an ornament and creates lots of texture in the tree. Now, the other thing to note with a tree like this, to get that real glamorous department store feel, it's all about layering ornaments deep within the tree. This is a little trade secret. So instead of just having all your ornaments on the outer branches, make sure you shove ornaments within deep into the tree. What that does at night is it really reflects and bounces the light around. It looks a lot more magical and it makes your tree feel a lot more full. It will definitely suit in any style home because it's neutral and what I love about it is it just it's a little bit more elegant than the other tree which is a little bit more fun so I've got the best of both worlds the final thing to note with this tree is that I've done the same treatment at the bottom where I've got a little advent calendar I've got a crown I've got a bowl of baubles I've got some inexpensive gift boxes because I don't have presents yet it just creates a moment at the bottom of the tree it finishes it all off and it creates a beautiful vignette So we talked about repeating elements already and because I have the really colorful tablescape to go with the colorful tree, I felt that I needed a white village to go with my neutral tree. Now it's really just an excuse to get more miniature houses in my home, but it creates a beautiful entry hall table, so why not? This look was really easy to achieve. I got some Dollar Tree houses, I painted them white, I added some glitter, we've got some faux diamonds and faux snow, lots of bottle brush trees in different heights to give it visual interest. And I've also lifted these back houses up a bit. Creating levels for your eye just creates more visual interest and it looks a lot more dynamic. Now, the final touch for this little village was the twinkle lights. At night, this is a miniature winter wonderland. It's incredibly pretty. And the steeple house with its own miniature Christmas tree is the piece de resistance. 
So I've created a little hot cocoa station in my kitchen because it's a little bit magical and even though we have 40 degree days, everyone loves a little dessert bar or some kind of Christmas treat. So I've got a tiered tray where I've got Santa mugs, all the toppings and trimmings you would need to put on a hot chocolate, lots of little sweets and treats. This is all about magic and joy and letting your guests help themselves. The way I've tied it all together is with twinkle lights, lots of Christmas elements and trinkets. So think Santa Clauses, little dome houses, gingerbread men, lots of little treats and knickknacks that just scream Christmas. It means that your guests will be delighted when they come for a treat. I hope you've enjoyed this Christmas home tour. I have certainly enjoyed putting it together. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos like it. I would love to share with you more seasonal styling videos, and I wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas. Three palms are barking, glitter houses sparkling, and a tofu in a pear tree. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justine Wilson from Vault Interiors, and I'm wishing you a very Vault Christmas. Except for the, <laughs> that fell off and not just that, everyone loves a nibbly bit. Nibbly bits. <laughs> Caressing the sand. <laughs> Weird, but funny. Yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> I added some fake snow and butter. Oh, sorry. Oh no, something fell in my eye. Christmas is killing me. <laughs>